Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my Patreon powered reaction to the 7th episode of Akame Ga Kill. So, last time, the episode started with Tatsumi and Leona on a mission together to kill some human scum, which, you know, they succeeded in it pretty without much issue. But the real meat of the episode was mine and Shelly fighting against Siryu, the justice obsessed freak voiced by Hanakana who had some pretty good shots of her in this episode, of her facial expressions that didn't exactly scream justice to me, but I could just be weird like that. But yeah, it was a pretty good fight. Although, in the end, Shelly, obviously, was killed. But of course, Siryu did take some damage as well. I think she lost both of her arms, but... Yeah, of course they had to kill off Shelly, the nicest person in Night Raid. <sighs> Which was pretty sad, but I feel like they're gonna kill off at least a couple more members of Night Raid, if not most of them. You, I really wouldn't put it past this show. As long as they don't kill off Akame, then I really will riot. She is my favorite character still. But yeah, we did see Ez Death at the very end of the episode, so maybe we'll get some of her this episode. You know, she just seemed like she could be an interesting character as well. Or at the very least have some interesting scenes with her. So yeah, let's get into the episode and find out. As usual, there will be no audio or footage of the anime using the app reaction for copyright reasons. There is a timer in the upper left hand corner and subs below me to help you follow along. And so, let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Oh wow, that's a lot of gold. It's kind of weird seeing her in such a submiss submissive position. You know, after what we saw a couple episodes ago. Still want him to die. Soon. I don't know, gold's a pretty good reward. <laughs> oh wow, I was not expecting that. Uh. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> uh, blunt. I'm sure you do. Man, she's taking that quite seriously. <laughs> that really caught me off guard. I was thinking maybe it would be some kind of... Like, she would want political power or something sadistic. <laughs> but no. That was great. I don't know how likely this will be. I'm kind of debating in my head whether it's really likely or not likely at all, but the idea that she gets together with Tatsumi, or at least wants to be together with Tatsumi, that could be funny. I mean, this isn't really a harem anime. I mean, he is surrounded by a bunch of cute girls, but I still wouldn't call this a harem anime. But if it was a harem anime, that's definitely how it would go. Kill the three. I'm still not sure what that refers to. <laughs> I 
Hey, I would not turn down an opportunity to be fed by a comet. You'd have to be insane to do that. I mean, I prefer mouth-to-mouth -mouth feeding, but a spoon is acceptable as well. I'm sure she's dealt with this many times before. It is the line of work you've chosen. Well, it kind of chose you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, very surprising. <laughs> yeah, say that out loud. Let's see how that ends. Okay, that's the three that Tata refers to. Are they going to infiltrate Night Raid? <laughs> of course, she's up eating food. Oh. She really was. She didn't deserve to go out like that. She really is. In a lot of ways. Yeah, I don't think you ever truly get used to it. You just kind of let, stop letting it show. Or let it in affect your work. Man. <laughs> Yeah, that was hard to watch. Akame hasn't shown much motion before. Seeing her broken up like that. <laughs> I don't know if you had to go that far, but... It's not really something you can guarantee, especially when you're in an assassin group. But yeah, I figured it did bother her, but I didn't expect her to break down like that. That really was hard to watch. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> you know, if you treated like a real battle, you'd probably be dead.
Of course, he would be good with a pole. <laughs> Looking all cute with that big weapon next to her. So that's what they were sent to do. I mean, these three are probably elites. I don't think they'll have, they have relics, but they could. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think you can fight that. So I think we discovered the status of the group. Which is serious has no shortage of. <laughs> Could have fooled me. <sighs> yeah, oh. I just thought he slit his throat. Apparently his head came clear off. Oh, they're trying to frame Night Raid. <laughs> yeah, that's probably bad news. She's an interesting person. <laughs> I can say that much for sure. Yeah, that's the main problem here. Yeah, you have to be kind of an idiot to fall for that. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, I did kind of get that impression. So definitely not people not able to actually kill. <laughs> I'm sure.
Oh wow, that is massive. <laughs> I'm sure it's the biggest bow he's ever seen in his life. <laughs> A comment. Uh. If you're going on a <laughs> if you're going on a mission with a comma, I always bring snacks. I'm sure he's been with her long enough to know that. If they're only attacking one of these targets, I think it's safe to say it'll be Tatsumi's. At least not subtly. <laughs> Invisible. That is some useful armor. Mm. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> of course he has to say that for emphasis. And blush through his armor. Yeah, that would do it. That scummy Prime Minister. I doubt that's gonna help. We're getting flashbacks of Balot right before Balot's probably going to be involved in a tough fight. I don't like the sound of that. I mean, surely they wouldn't kill off two main characters two episodes in a row. I know, right? I was about to say. <laughs> that ass. I can almost guarantee you if you attacked her, you would not survive. She just has this final boss aura around her. Literally trying to bait her. Man, she switches gears quickly. Oh, is the food a relic? I guess a relic that you play it, it immobilizes people, puts them to sleep, I imagine. Don't fall overboard. Yeah, but it's gonna be hard to fall asleep to fight like that. Yeah, you, you kind of gave that away a little too easily.
Yeah, the guy that chopped through like a dozen people with one swing. <laughs> Don't sink the ship. Though it is really big. It could probably take a few blows, even from him. <laughs> a boomerang. The only character I'm sure is not going to die this early is Tatsume. I mean, this isn't Game of Thrones or anything. <laughs> yeah, really not the time for a lecture. I mean, of course, it's not going to have an effect on the main characters. Or that. <laughs> yeah, they're really making this look like he's going to die in this fight. And he was fast for someone in that armor. <laughs> oh, wow. I know, right? In like one hit. Man, he just ended that man. <laughs> Maybe I was worrying too much for nothing. Quite the nickname. Someone from his past, I take it. So I was right, the enemy did attack the one that Tatsumi was on. So I guess Akame and the green-haired guy, whose name I do not remember, are just going to stand there bored. Yeah, so there's a two-parter there. So, that was the seventh episode of Akame Got Kill. Another good episode. Uh, for one, it made it clear that Akame is definitely bothered by the death of Shelley.
although she has probably seen a lot of her comrades die before, it never really becomes easy. You never really get used to it. You just kind of stop letting it affect your work and letting it show as much. That's the only thing that really changes. But, yeah, the main conflict of this episode was as Death sent her Elite Three guards to kill off uh, political officials that oppose the Prime Minister and blame Night Raid for it. Kind of killing two birds with one stone there. <laughs> no pun intended. But, yeah, of course, Night Raid can't let that stand because that's screwing them over in two different ways. So, they sent out two groups to two potential attack locations. And Tatsumi was the lucky slash unlucky one there. And yeah, the big little plot twist there, big little plot twist, was that the one of the group, one of the people there was Balat's superior that we saw in that brief flashback. So it's probably going to be difficult for Balat to fight him. So yeah, there were definitely some death flags there, which I thought was just me worrying over nothing when he killed them easily, but... The general showing up there, that's definitely going to complicate things. But, yeah. I think that's really all I have to say on this one. <laughs> of course, at the, the beginning, as Death looking for love, that that made me laugh pretty hard. Maybe the hardest I've laughed in this series so far. That was funny. Definitely didn't see it coming. But I guess we'll see how she makes progress on that venture. So, let me know what you thought of the anime. Which thought of my reaction in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.